When an SLK is presented to the public for the first time following its many years of development and testing, it has only one opponent which it needs fear, its successor. A long time ago in the heads of our designers, this successor began taking on an initial form, or more precisely, it began taking on a variety of forms, which became visible with the help of pen and paper or computer. Its proportions, dimensions and lines are evaluated for their coherence and harmony before the selected drafts are transformed into clay models. But it is only when the computer images and the work of the sculptor come together that the designer can decide as to whether or not the desired effect has been achieved in all three dimensions. But before a final decision can be made as to the final design of the future SLK, the data of the clay model is streamed onto the power wall, an immense screen which offers a realistic visualization of all design elements, allowing even the finest details to be analyzed. Creating the so-called base model, however, involves a great deal of intricate manual labor. In this deceptively realistic representation of the future SLK, the creative, functional and ergonomic aspects can be experienced in the flesh for the very first time and accordingly evaluated. Choosing the exterior paint colors requires plenty of sensitivity, as these should maintain a harmonious link to the vehicle interior. From an endless color palette and countless material and leather designs, each individual equipment line is defined and its respective effect appraised. The end result of the continual teamwork between the designers and the engineers is the perfect blend of design and functionality so typical of a Mercedes-Benz. Whilst all this is taking place, the prototype factory prepares for series production. As the highest standards are to be fulfilled during the assembly of the future SLK, a team of highly specialized employees begins assembling an initial small-scale series under the same conditions as can be found in the plant during series production. Step by step, potential problems in the assembly are revealed, analyzed and resolved. Every step of the assembly process is perfected until the actual production is ready to be handed over to the chosen assembly plant. Even during the ProTech meeting, everything revolves around the desire to achieve perfection. Up to 50 specialists from all areas come together to discuss and ultimately agree upon every decision. But before series production can start, there's still a long way to go, over 7 million kilometers to be precise, and they will take the test vehicles to some of the most extreme and remote places in the world. In winter, we go deep into the Arctic isolation of northern Sweden. Here, beyond the Arctic Circle, all of the SLK systems can be tested for the suitability in wintry conditions. From the performance of the heating system, right through to the poise and agility of the driving dynamics on snow and ice. And all that in almost undisguised form. On the demanding circuits, the rough road stretches and the dynamic driving sections of the Mercedes testing ground, the chassis and control systems are fine-tuned to complement one another and their sensitivity and safety on snow and ice are rigorously tested. And let's be honest, this all happens in conditions which the future driver of an SLK will rarely experience. Day and night, week upon week, and in temperatures down as low as minus 40 degrees, the new Roadster is permanently put through its paces. And only when our engineers are absolutely convinced that even the most extreme Arctic winter is no match for the car, can it return to Germany. But even in the comfort of its own home, the SLK won't be greeted by milder temperatures. In fact, quite the opposite. The snow-filled climate chamber, with its 30 degrees below zero, awaits the arrival of the SLK. In this icy atmosphere, the car not only has to complete innumerable cold starts, but must also undergo a series of simulated journeys through thick snow flurries under laboratory conditions. Only by doing this can the engineers guarantee against engine failure or the vehicle icing over. By the way, this is Tanya. 
This young lady is equipped with highly sensitive flow probes with which the different wind deflector concepts can be put to the test. Driving with the roof down is ultimately an exciting experience, but SLK drivers and passengers don't just want to feel the wind in their hair for a quick thrill. They want to drive with the top down for longer, safe in the knowledge that they can even drive long distances comfortably. That's where Tanya comes in. She ensures both criteria find a reasonable balance. But a Mercedes Roadster shouldn't just be fun to drive when the roof is down. It should also be enjoyable in the hardest of rain. To guarantee this, the SLK is bombarded non-stop with masses upon masses of water from an array of high-pressure jets. Gushes of water and long periods of rain should simply wash over the vehicle. During the tests, the whole vehicle interior is meticulously checked until the inspector is 100% convinced that even the smallest water droplet remains exactly where it belongs, outside. Out of the rain and into the dry. In this part of the virtual world, our engineers assess the integration and operation of all the control units within a new model series. This allows them to test the problem-free interaction between all of the electronic assistance systems many months before they are built into the development vehicles. These systems will later go towards ensuring increased levels of safety and comfort in the new SLK. Welcome to Dubai, the diverse desert state in the Persian Gulf. Proof that the new Roadster is not only sportier, but also more comfortable, is easily recognizable under the extreme conditions of the desert. Temperatures of over 50 degrees and infinite amounts of the finest sand beat down on the SLK during the day, whilst the interior is checked to ensure that it offers a dust-free and comfortable climate. At the same time, the suspension sturdiness is tested on the merciless desert roads. nights provide for very different conditions. Almost 90% humidity tortures both man and machine. There isn't even the faintest breeze to help the cooling of the SLK's engine, whilst it is hard at work in the stop-start traffic of the megacity. That said, the hardest test awaits the SLK at home in Sindelfingen, Germany, the so-called Heide Daulauf. Under the skin of this seemingly harmless name hides the most extreme test program for newly developed vehicles. This is the world's toughest rough road test. It is based on data gathered by Mercedes test drivers from their experiences in the North German Lüneburg Heath and pushes the test vehicles to their technical performance limits and, if need be, even beyond them. After a torturous week of state-of-the-art tests, the body and chassis have survived the equivalent of an entire vehicle lifetime. The best or nothing. Even during intensive testing, this is the maxim that drives us. Meanwhile, there is no rest for the SLK's Vario roof, which is opened and closed many thousands of times in fast motion, in order for us to guarantee the safe and problem-free operation of the roof over the entire vehicle lifetime. Long before the first prototypes are available, a visit to the virtual reality lab provides the engineers with a realistic view from the driver's seat. In the virtual space, developers, ergonomics experts and designers can evaluate and optimize the ergonomic layout of a new cockpit under very realistic conditions. With the latest visualization technologies, our engineers are even able to adjust a newly developed powertrain so that it fits into the engine compartment. This intelligent system is known as mixed reality and is used to plan the essentials of the assembly processes from a very early phase. The engines which will later be fitted here have already had to undergo a grueling 52,000 hours on the engine test rigs in Unterturkheim, Germany in order to prove their worth for this place. For every test driver, 
The race track testing is the icing on the cake as far as the development and fine tuning of a sporty roadster goes. On the Hockenheim ring, the SLK prototypes undergo countless aggressively driven laps, during which the chassis, brakes, engine, transmission, tires and bodywork are pushed to their limits. We expect that, even in extreme situations, the new SLK shows that it has even more to give, a demand that any self-respecting sporty driver should be able to make of our new roadster. At Mercedes-Benz, we follow our very own integral safety concept, and during the development of the new SLK, we have taken into account many more crash test configurations than current legislation actually dictates. Around 40 different types of crash make up the Mercedes-Benz testing program. And then, when we are absolutely sure of the vehicle's excellent technical driving characteristics, we send it on yet another journey. Welcome to the Mercedes testing ground in Laredo, Texas. In the middle of the desert and out of sight of prying eyes, this is where the test vehicles are stripped of their disguise. Right up into the high speed ranges, this is the first time that the true acoustics, whilst driving the new SLK, can be discovered and analysed. Everywhere within the confines of the testing ground, the on-road tests are carried out at full revs. Here, the possibilities for testing the endurance of all the components once again are virtually infinite. Every individual test is precisely planned and discussed. Particularly when the test engineer has to take up his place in the boot in order to check each individual component from this rather unusual perspective. Rough road testing is merely one of the many possibilities to push the SLK to its limits. For a good deal of weeks and months, the engineers send the agile roadster out on the road over speed bumps, potholes, joints and grooves in the road surface, as well as manhole covers and countless gravel roads. Every individual component and every individual innovation in the new SLK must be able to prove its error-free operation over and over again until we are completely convinced that our customers are getting an agile and well-engineered SLK. And if, in the future, the next contender steps up to the line in the hope of raising the bar that little bit higher, it won't be an easy ride, because its opponent is the best SLK we've ever built. <laughs>